What's going on everyone? So my name is D Anthony with evolutiontraders.com. If you guys are looking to trade with me each and every single day live, kind of get access to my watch list, signals, intraday levels, and kind of like just get one-on-one -on -one help and focused training, definitely check out my Discord. That link is down in the description box below. But let's kind of get into this video. The topic of this video is why most day traders fail. Why are most day traders losing money, especially newer traders? Now, this is going out to anyone who, let's say you started trading recently within the last two to three years since, let's say, the COVID meltdown and ramp up, right? A lot of you guys got into the stock market during that time when your friend was telling you about it, when your coworker was telling you about it, when someone said how much money they made on GameStop, when someone said how much money they made on AMC, maybe somebody played one of these meme stocks, made a shit ton of money, they had no idea what they were actually doing, you could pretty much just buy anything at any level, things were going up like crazy, right? Well, now that we're getting into a little bit more of a normalized market here and actually having a little bit more selling pressure where things are not necessarily just running or squeezing on a day-to-day -day basis, it's making the market a little bit more trickier for newer traders to trade. However, with that being said, it doesn't mean that it's impossible. What it comes down to is, you know, what type of stocks are you looking to trade? Are you looking to trade these meme stocks that you're, you're trying to buy in at, you know, at, a, at a, the ground floor level and you want these things to explode? I'm going to tell you one thing. You are a chaser. You are FOMOing. You are never going to make it in this game long term unless you have stockpiles of cash. You're going to allocate $100,000 to one of these pumps and then when you do make you know 10x your money you're going to able to actually manage that money accordingly but for the average person with a small account here is the number one reason why you guys are losing money and that number one reason is realistic expectations i don't think you guys have a realistic expectation as to how much money you're going to make when you're trading stocks and options especially options players i see so many new options traders come in thinking that they're going to be able to you know buy one or two contracts and you're going to make ten thousand dollars you know day trade you know 20 times in a day and make fifty thousand dollars it doesn't work that way i hate to tell you but it doesn't like that notion of where you can say buy a thousand dollars worth of apple contracts and make two thousand dollars is not a realistic expectation can you make a hundred percent two hundred percent three hundred percent gainer on a particular play when the market is trending everything is moving together of course but if you're always looking to double your account meaning that let's say let's say for example one contract of tesla is trading at eight hundred dollars if you think that you're going to buy one contract of Tesla and make a thousand dollars every single day this week, you're mistaken because it's only going to take one time that that move fails and that trade goes against you and you're going to lose 60, 70, 80 percent of that premium, meaning that you're going to you're going to put in eight hundred dollars and you're going to lose five hundred dollars. How many times can you take a five hundred dollar uh, account loss? If your account size is only five, ten thousand dollars, five, ten trades down the road, doing that kind of stupidity is going to blow up your account. And I do not believe in a lot of this. Um, I don't believe in a lot of this talk that I hear a lot of traders or experienced traders say that you know, it it's just it's like paying dues to the game, right? Like you need to blow up a few accounts before you learn. No, I think you need to have a better understanding of yourself and your emotions before you go and start trading. If you're a very emotional person and you you can't cut a loss because you know, you're know you hoping and holding and waiting for this thing to come back in your favor, you shouldn't be a trader. Um, if you can't you know, take 20% profits on an options contract and not care about if you would have held, you, know, you could have made 100%, you're not gonna last in this game. Uh, and that's the harsh reality, and that's the harsh, harsh truth that a lot of newer traders need to hear. The reason why you're losing money is not because day trading is a scam, not because, you know, manipulation. It's not because of the suits. It's not because of the market makers. It's none of that. The reason why you're losing money day trading is because of you. Uh, you're the reason why you're losing money. Um, I recently talked to someone in my Discord that said, hey, you know what? I played... 
I forget the the name of the stock, but I'm just gonna name a random stock that they played Zoom and they they lost a thousand dollars. And I said, well, how much did you play with? And they said fifteen hundred dollars, and they lost a thousand dollars. And I said, why? You know, what was the reason why you lost a thousand dollars if you invested fifteen hundred dollars? How did you lose? almost 70, 80% of that premium in one play. If your account is 10,000, and I don't know this person's account size, but let's say their account size is 10,000 and they take eight, nine, $1,000 losses, that account is gonna be blown in a matter of a week, in a matter of two weeks, in a matter of a month, they're gonna go from 10,000 down to zero, essentially. They're gonna go down to nothing if they keep doing that. I said, what were you looking for in the trade? Were, Were you actually green in the trade. And at one point they were positive, however, a very small amount. And the trade started to work against them and they thought that it was going to come back. And I, when I asked the question of how much did you expect to make on the trade, they told me between a thousand and $2,500. Automatically right then and there, I knew that the reason why they are consistently losing money and consistently looking for new strategies and looking for you know someone else's chat room or someone else's um, you know signals or or you know can they combine this person's strategy with this person's strategy has nothing to do with the strategy has nothing to do with who your mentor is it has nothing to do with um, you know market makers has nothing to do with hedge funds has nothing to do with manipulation. What this has to do with is you as a person and you as a trader and not having realistic expectations. I'm telling you that if you expect to invest $1,500 and make $1,000 to $2,000 per play, per trade, you are going to lose more money than you are going to make. If you invest $1,000, I would be looking to make anywhere between $80 and $200, between $80 and $300 max. If you happen to make more than $300 investing $1,000 in an options play, consider yourself extremely blessed. Consider yourself extremely lucky. The best professional traders in the world are looking for 5%, 10%, 2%. The not the difference of making $10,000 in a day and making $100 in a day is just position sizing. If you would have played and had a 10% move, then you would have made $1,000 on that trade. If you played $1,000 and got a 10% move, you would have made $100. But the fact that you're looking to make 100, 150, 200% gain, the trade is going to go up and down and up and down. And if eventually it fails and starts moving against you, you are going to lose 40, 50, 60, 70% of that premium. Have realistic expectations, guys. If you put in $1,000 and let's say you buy two options contracts that cost $500 each and that move starts to work in your favor. And within a matter of 30 minutes, the matter of an hour, you're able to walk away from $1,000. You're able to walk away with 100 $200, that is a grand slam win. That's a fantastic trade. Do that a thousand more times versus trying to make a thousand dollars 10 times. Would you rather make, would you rather have the skill set to be able to make 80 to a hundred dollars a thousand times? Or do you want to wait for the big trade and try to make a thousand dollars once? I want you guys to really put that in perspective and really look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, ask yourself the question. I'm not asking you how much money you have in your account. I'm asking you, what is your average position size? If let's say you have $20,000 in your account, but you're consistently taking trades that are $500, $1,000 at a time, you're buying $800 options premiums, you're only buying one options contract. How much are you realistically looking to make off one options contract? I'll just use Tesla as as an example. If you buy one op, let's say your your account size is 20,000 and Tesla's options contract is $1,000. If you buy one options contract on Tesla, how much are you looking to make? And Tesla is by far one of the best trading, most volatile stocks with a 
huge average true daily range. So yeah, you can entirely make $1,000. But how much are you realistically looking to make off $1,000 invested on one contract? If your answer is you're looking to make 500, 600, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, your, your goals, your expectations are not realistic. If you buy one options contract on Tesla and you're able to make 100, 200, $300, that is your home run trade. That is what you should be striving for. If you're playing Apple, Apple's not going to move like Tesla. If you buy, say, three options contracts that cost you $500 each or $500 total, around $160 each, $175 each. If you buy three to four options contracts on Apple and your investment or risk is $500, how much are you expecting to make on that one play? I want you to ask yourself that question. How much are you expecting to make on three options contracts of Apple when you have $500 invested? If your answer is 400, 300, 600, 1,000, 2,000, you are going to consistently fail. If you invest $500 on three Apple contracts and you're able to make 80 to $200, you just hit a home run. Do that 1,000 more times than looking to invest $500 and make 1,000. I hope that video kind of gives you some clarity. I hope you guys kind of picked up a little bit of, uh, little bit of you know gems that I was dropping. Um, if you guys are looking to trade with me, you guys want stocks, you guys want levels, you guys want training, you guys want a strategy, definitely join my Discord. That link is down in the description box below. If you guys are looking for your strategy and want to know how I trade, definitely go to my website, evolutiontraders.com, and you can get a lifetime membership bundle there where you can get access to all my courses as well as my daily signals and access to private Discord. That link can also be found in the description box below. Please do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I would highly appreciate that, and I will see you guys all in the next trading video.